going to do a short talk here on what I believe to be the future of product management. I'm going to try to run through quickly and um, hopefully go into some Q&A and, and open discussion here at the end. So a uh, little mismatch on the title here, but so I have feeding the furnace in the future of product management. So this is me. Please tweet at me. Please tweet at the labs. And um, feel free to grab my email address for me at the end if you'd like to chat more. So let's talk a little bit about historic product management, which is really project management. And the goal of the product team was to feed the furnace that was the development team and it just continued to shovel coal into it. So that's changed a little bit. Now the current state of project, man of product management has changed, it's expanded to include product managers, not just product managers, who aren't just keepers of the team but are actually members, uh, designers, and business roles. And the roles themselves have changed, but the, the primary function of the team has not changed as much. We're still shoveling coal into like that thing, which is development. But product is actually starting to change. So there are new constraints based on the physical world, devices, wearables, fashion. Um, everyone knows we're going mobile first. Multi-part products and services, and also complex supply chains. Um, so what does that mean? So first of all, um, Consumers have a ton of choice these days, so they have the ability to demand things that they need and want, and they have a lot of expectations about what makes for a good experience. So it's not that we just, we create the thing and we're like, okay, now you have to use it because it's the only thing out there. Um, they can actually make demands on this. Sorry about this. This is, that's right. Um, and so in order to make products that teams need and want, the way that the team works really matters. Because I think that building the right team and building the right thing is actually easy. So like, I think we have the technology, the ability, all of the things that we need to build the right thing are in existence. And really, it's about um, convincing each other um, to build the right thing. And, that's, and I mean intra-team, not like convincing the consumers. So an interesting thing is happening. There are a lot of disciplines in the realm of technology that are concerned with building the right thing. And some of them are uh, Lean Startup, Lean, Agile, Lean UX, Agile UX, DevOps, Custev, on and on and on. And all of these things are concerned with building the right thing. Um, and they've begun to converge. And there's a new philosophy that's showed up recently. It's called Balanced Team. It's been around roughly since 2011 came primarily out of the UX community. And the little blurb here is, the balance team is a global, global movement of people who value multidisciplinary collaboration and iterative delivery focused on customer value as a source for innovation. So I think that this particular line really is important, so customer value. And so what does that mean? So the balance team, when I think about it, is really a three-legged stool. And the product is the seat, and it's supported by design, engineering, and product. And by product, I mean product management. So reimagining product teams. So in this world, our new job is to empathize with the customers, understand the risks, figure out which risks are the most detrimental to the business, and devise experiments to validate risk and reduce, reduce that risk through solutions. And so here it is again. Here's what I believe the future of product management is. And here, so I'm going to talk a little bit about what makes balanced teams different. So do I have three, and you actually need four volunteers. Anybody, just come up to the front. All right. Awesome. We got two, we got three, one more. Uh, you want four? One more. <laughs> okay. So these three folks here, how many handshakes do you think it will take for all of you guys to meet? I think three. Three. Yeah. Okay, let's just play it out here. Three times. Hi, I'm gone. One. Peter. Thomas. Peter. Two. Elisa. Peter. It's twelve. Oh, we added a fourth. Hi. Okay, so but for three, it's for three. So let's add in the fourth now. And so we've actually doubled the number of interactions that it takes for everyone to meet, just with one person on the team. And so, thank you. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> oh, thank you. So just by adding one person, we've actually doubled the number of interactions it takes. And um, this really speaks a lot to how teams come to agreement. 
So um, Kent Beck, so Kent Beck is the father of extreme programming, and in um, the second version of extreme programming, he actually talks about what makes highly functional teams. And so um, he says, the courage to speak truths, pleasant or unpleasant, fosters communication and trust. The courage to discard failing solutions and seek new ones encourages simplicity, and the courage to seek real concrete answers creates feedback. So process, what does that mean for process? So that means we've all become facilitators. So um, our job is to facilitate processes that serve your team's goals and engender trust. Processes should change as your goals change, so they're not static. And the team does not serve the process, the process serves the team. And so again here, let's talk about product leadership. Um, this, is, this is a different world. Again, we're facilitators, we're not dictators, we're not heroes, we're not martyrs, and we're really pragmatic. And so every day we're talking about why we're here and why we're doing the things that we do. And again, like the process that we're creating around that is changing as our goals change. So um, as facilitators, what do we do? So as product managers and as designers and as engineers, what we're not going to do is go into corners and come out with, come out with, uh, with decisions that we're going to then try to persuade our team into. So our goal is to get the right minds in the room and actually extract the best available knowledge at the time in order to imagine all of the possibilities, not just one possibility that comes from one role. And it's not really about consensus or democracy. So decisions are made explicitly for the purpose of moving teams forward. And again, like we're not dictators. PMs aren't dictators, designers aren't dictators, engineers aren't dictators. Like decisions are made as a service to the team with the purpose of moving it forward. And so back to feeding the furnace, the goal really is to shovel the coal in a new way. And um, hopefully we'll sh we're shoveling the coal together versus just to feed into development. So that's it. Uh, build awesome teams that build awesome shit. And love to open up the floor to Q&A or to discussion or thoughts. All of the above. Or none of the above. <laughs>